After so many requests, you guys are finally getting a look at my nail polish room. From designing new nail art to chatting with you guys on Twitter and Instagram, this is where all of the cute polish magic happens. Now that you've seen a 360 of the room, let's take a look at some of my favorite things in it. Hung above my desk, I have a white and crystal chandelier that I got from a local clothing warehouse. It was actually their display item, so when I got it, I needed to shorten the chain, dust it off, and hand polish the crystals on it. It was a great deal. Below the chandelier and desk, I have a fluffy white rug that I got on clearance from HomeSense. I find that rugs really pull a room together and add warmth to hardwood floors. My comfy white chair is from Overstock.com. Notice how most things are white in the room? It's because I wanted the nail polish bottles to pop. My desk and cabinets are all from Ikea, and I've changed all of the knobs on them to crystal ones that I got from my local hardware store. My lamp was also on clearance, but this time it was boxed from that closing warehouse I mentioned earlier. I really love all of the crystals on it and how they catch the sunlight, especially in the morning. And this is the computer I use to create my videos, and on the corner of my desk I have a few little items. The first one is a candle from Bath & Body Works. This one is called Hawaiian Hibiscus and it smells amazing and summery. I also have this little pot of flowers from HomeSense and a little box of cards for taking jot notes. Finally, I have Penelope the Flying Pig from Pure One Imports. My friend and I both have one of these and they're so cute because of their perfect depiction of overcoming impossible odds. Then, one of my favorite things in this room is my recreation frame. I got this picture frame from Pier 1 Imports and I love to display recreations by you guys in it. I seriously love when you share your recreations with me and every so often I print off new ones and switch them up on my wall. If you'd like to share your recreations with me, use the hashtag CutePolish and who knows, maybe it could end up on my wall. On the other side of my room, I have my gold play button award from YouTube. I feel so blessed to be able to share my favorite hobby with you guys, so thank you so much. Now on to the nail polish. Yes, I have a ton, and no, you don't need this many bottles to enjoy doing nail art. I'm simply in love with polish, and I've been collecting bottles for quite some time now. Here you can see my base and top coats, white polish, iridescent glitters, light pinks, medium pinks, dark pinks, ending with reds. The final shelf has nudes, bronzes, and browns. My middle cabinet holds all of my oranges, yellows, and then I have my light greens and finally my dark greens. The third and last cabinet goes from light blue to dark blue, and then I have all of my lilacs and purples, and then some darker purples and plums. Finally, you can see my silvers, silver glitters, grays, and ending with solid black. Beneath the middle cabinet, I have three drawers of nail art supplies, so let's take a look inside them. The first drawer has my Shaney nail art kit with all kinds of little pots of decorations for your nails. I also have some stamping plates, some little containers of microbeads and blocking powder from Michael's Arts and Crafts, Sally Hansen nail polish strips, bandages and reinforcement labels both for Half Moon Mannies, nail art tattoos from my map nail art video, and a little Manny kit from Q-Tips. The middle drawer has all of my Sally Hansen nail art pens, some nail art flowers, pearls, gems, and practice wheels all from eBay. There's also some cotton swabs and cotton balls. Then I have all of my dotting tools, some makeup sponges because you guys know I love to use them for ombre little containers of studs, glitters, and microbeads, my favorite nail care product, which is the Burt's Bees Lemon Cuticle Cream, some toothpicks, tweezers, more studs, and some nail files. Then I have my cuticle pusher, nail art brushes, and crystal nail file. I also have a few Revlon and LA Colors nail art polishes, chalkboard nail art markers, and finally a few midi rings. The bottom drawer contains some less fun stuff, I guess. We have bubble white for cleaning and whitening nails with the little bowl that I use with it, cotton browns and cotton balls for removing polish along with a few different bottles of polish remover. I also have a big box of cotton swabs here and Lush's Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. I have a bottle of nail polish thinner and the spray bottle of hand sanitizer that I used when I came up with the idea of water spotting for you guys. 
I also have a little carrying case for six polishes from OPI. And finally, a purple case full of nail art brushes from Shaney Cosmetics. And that's it for my room tour and nail polish collection. I hope you guys enjoyed a sneak peek of behind the scenes at Cute Polish. I'd love to see your nail polish collection, big or small, so please share it with me using the hashtag MyPolishCollection. Take care guys, and I'll see you next time!